how to find blockchain and crypto investors. We are CrowdCreate. We've been connecting businesses and startup companies to blockchain and crypto investors for the past couple of years. And today I'm gonna to share our behind the scenes secrets on how we've done it and be able to show you how you can do it on your own. So just a bit of background and history about our company, we've raised over $133 million across 80 plus projects. We actually helped Asia's fastest selling token raise raise over $18 million in three hours by finding and connecting them with investors. Uh, you can visit our website and learn more about it. At the end of this video, we're also gonna be sharing a lot of the templates, a lot of the frameworks uh, to help you and your own project be successful by getting introduced to investors. You can read about everything that we've done on our website, and um, here we go. So the first place to find investors for your project and the most likely our immediate friends and family. So your immediate friends and family are typically people that you've known for quite some time. And it is a matter of trust when it comes down to, um, you know, investing in your project. Um, you know, just immediately you think about the most notable investors that are out there and the ones that are famous. Uh, first off, you want to make sure that you have a very good project, which is the obvious. And from there, you want to start off with your immediate circle, uh, friends, family, you know, schools, universities, professional organizations and whatnot. And once you've tapped that out, now you want to start going out there to the masses and hopefully you have traction, uh, great technology and also the track record to back it up. So I'm going to show you how to reach out to both public investors and also private investors that aren't uh, necessarily known in, in the limelight like a lot of these uh, individuals here. Okay, so let me, uh, this is actually an example of how we've done it. Uh, a lot of this is private and confidential because of a lot of these investors and companies are ones that we've worked with in the past. But uh, just to give you back a bit of background and track record, uh, you know, we, we have used some of these uh, exact same principles and strategies for our own clients. We've used it for some of our existing projects and, um, you know, simply it works. So the number one way and, and fastest way to find investors for your own projects is to look up blockchain and crypto conferences around the world. So uh, we've been in the blockchain and crypto space for the last couple of years. And, you know, in 2018, that really was the peak of um, ICOs, blockchain, crypto and uh, everything in between. And, uh, you know, since then, we have been collecting data on um, who's been you know investing in the space so you can see here that uh, if you just go to google and you type in crypto conferences you're going to see a massive list over the last couple of years of these different events everywhere from london to asia to europe to dubai to the us ireland and everything in between and really these people that are speakers at these events and um, you know also the attendees are, are the real movers and shakers uh, uh, in the space. Many times they're investors and they are thought leaders. Um, they're the who's who in the industry. So here's an example here. You can find uh, uh, these blockchain conferences. You know, this was in 2018. You can look at these speakers, you know, senior analysts at EOS, you know, who's then going to be connected to Brock Pierce. Um, all of these names, I'm going to show you how to, you know, find them. Um, also, to understand what is it that they're interested in, and also to see if you can get a warm connection or introduction to some of these investors. So here we go. Yeah, you know, here's an example of one of the spreadsheets that uh, that we use. Uh, this is a public-facing sheet, but you can see that you know we like to uh, categorize them by name, uh, their title. And then also a brief description of what they do, you know, what they're interested in, what they have done in the past. And um, that's an example. And so we're going to go ahead and, and go into an actual blockchain investor list. So here it is. You could see here um, the way that we do it is that we like to categorize it. And when you have a team of analysts or if you have, you know, different data researchers, again, we've been working on this for the last couple of years. You can see here when we type in a keyword. So in the situation and uh, you know example that I provided here, um, go ahead and type in crypto conferences, and then you also want to type in blockchain conferences, and you want to go back for previous years, starting off in you know 2000, 
uh, 17, 18, 19, and 2020, and, and then beyond to find out who the speakers are at these conferences. And if anyone is, you know, kind of notable uh, that fits within the industry or your specific project, you know, whether if it's, uh, you know, some kind of blockchain infrastructure, if it's cryptocurrency, if it's NFTs, um, you know, if it's going to be a new payment or exchange, um, you really want to understand what these investors are doing and understand who would be a good fit. So again, go to these uh, conferences by, you know, digitally, of course, and um, you can find out who the speakers are. So another good one that I showed was going to be the NFT conference. So, you know, this is mostly for gaming, non-fungible tokens. You're going to find out who some of the um, speakers are at these events and really take the time to find the investors that are more suited to your project. And the best way to do that is just lots of research. Again, um, the way that we do it here is um, these spreadsheets where um, we would go ahead and type in the keyword that we searched, um, the firm name, you know, also location, um, you know, first name, last name, position, and then make sure, you know, you research them on all the top popular platforms that are out there. Everything from LinkedIn to AngelList to, you know, blockchain ICO list. And you can see that this is, hundreds of hours of work that we've done here, putting together our own lists. And this is for a particular client. Um, you know, a lot of these are uh, public facing in terms of this list, so we'd be happy to share them with you. And um, if you are interested, again, CrowdCreate, we are the fastest way to really find and get connected to investors in these, um, in these industries. So um, yeah, the number one way that we recommend to find investors is conferences conferences that are you know strategically aligned to whatever your project is in if it's a cryptocurrency nft uh whatnot so the second way to find investors that we recommend is to actually ask other startup companies who invested in their company now it is uh, um, you know uh, a bit intrusive if you would just you know go to an existing company and say, hey, who invested in your company? I mean, you want to do in that way that you want to support the ecosystem. And the whole idea of, you know, blockchain and also cryptocurrency is it's about building community. It is about helping other projects. And you'll notice that also, you know, in, um, you know, different innovation hubs and cities around the world, it is about giving back, you know, first you want to provide value and help them on their mission. And in exchange, uh, typically they'll open up and they'll also, um, you know, let you know, uh, you know, who's very active in the space. A uh, good example would be if you're a cryptocurrency exchange and possibly you were looking at Kraken or uh, Gemini or Binance, you want to see who's an investor or find out who's an investor in crypto exchanges. And you could do that through a Google search. Um, you can also ask around. So you can see here um, a lot of times in our um our sheets uh, and also our existing database, we actually have a column uh, where we would note um, what previous investment they did. And we typically put that here in the notes section and also in the tag section to really understand what they're interested in. And so that would be the second way to find investors is basically asking other startups and other companies who invested in their company. Again, this takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to build relationships with these people. Uh, so they really understand that uh, you're coming from a place of value. And, um, you know, a lot of times uh, these startup founders, you know, they work at one existing company and then they leave to go start their, um, their new project. You know, a good example would be, say, the chief product officer at Coinbase. You know, he was previously at another blockchain or crypto uh, company and, um, you know, possibly left and started um, a new company and you would take a lot of the contacts with them. But again, it's all about talking to other founders and companies in the space and ask them who's actually uh, investing and go ahead and uh, note that on your sheet. So the third way to find investors, um, there are databases and crypto investor lists that exist. Uh, we're not a big fan of them, but again, you can um, find them and they are a good starting point. Um, what we've done here at CrowdCrate is we've actually tapped into all of those existing lists. And um, uh, when we work with clients, we filter that down so that it's a high quality list. Um, again, quality is more important than quantity. And what I've seen 
far too many companies do wrong is actually downloading some of these uh, lists and mass blasting over two to 5,000 of them. You know, on one hand, you are going to get your domain um, flagged and just sending spam out there is really bad for the industry. You know, nobody likes a cluttered inbox full of spam and email where people don't really understand um, what it is that you do. Um, in the next video series, we're also gonna share how to connect with these investors. Again, this video is focused on how to find the investors, but the second part of this is actually to connect with them, understanding what it is uh, that they do. So again, we're gonna go back here, crypto investors list. You can see that they sell these um, investor lists. Um, we're not a fan of them, but again, you can purchase them. We do have uh, you know access and we tap into uh, almost 10 different data sources where uh, we are always aware of what's going on. Um, again, you know, AngelList also has um, their crypto investor lists uh, at CrowdCreate. We tap into uh, really all of these um, and um, we put them together in a, you know, comprehensive, simplified version for the clients that we work with. And, um, you know, there are some, you know, it's just public data that you would be able to um, access and put them together and, and whoever you see fit uh, would be, uh, you know, really good for you. So taking a look at Signal NFX is another great uh, database. Again, it's really tapping into as many uh, crypto databases as you can, blockchain databases, NFT databases, and taking their existing lists and using that as a baseline for your own. So also you can find out, you know, they have these crypto lists as well. Again, the best list is one that you create yourself that's highly targeted and um, it's it's in line with what you're doing. And um, yeah, that's what we recommend as a third way to find blockchain crypto investors is these existing uh, databases uh, that are out there. So the fourth way to find crypto investors is actually LinkedIn. Now I'm gonna give you a secret on how we find crypto investors on LinkedIn. So this is called a site uh, search operator. So you're gonna type in site and then colon, linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash, and then type in the name of the invest uh, or, or whatever your operator uh, search term is going to be. Uh, so say, let's try crypto investor. 213,000 results here for crypto investors. Now, how do you know that they're a crypto investor? Well, they basically, you know, offer that information publicly and, and put it on their profile saying that they are a crypto investor. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these contacts and these names. So let's use Tiffany Nicola, crypto investor at My7 Network and Crypto Bit Club, um, you know, attended Indiana University, um, you can also see, uh, you know, ideally what other projects that they've invested in, you know, how uh, active they are. Again, this is really going in one by one, understanding each of these crypto investors. What projects have they done? Are they qualified? Are they a good fit for your project? Um, what we do here at CrowdCreate is we take all of this uh, information. And so let's uh, use this for example. He's based in the UK. You can see any other projects that he's done in the past, if it is a good fit. And, um, you know, if they are a good fit, we'll essentially put them into our uh, list here. So what we would do is we would take the keyword uh, in this situation. The keyword was crypto investor. We would go ahead and we would add them to the spreadsheet. And you can see, uh, say, for example, we did this one, STO investor and you would you know go ahead and add the name of their professional organization that they're a part of in this uh, situation it's andra capital uh uh you know their linkedin account you're going to find their first name their last name you know their title and you also need to look for their email now looking for their email it's um it's a bit of work and uh right there's uh different tools that are out there uh, we do it for you here at crowdcreate but you know when you find their linkedin um, the next part is actually finding their email. Um, different tools that you know we recommend for finding their email. Um, really, it's uh, you know um, Hunter.io is a great tool. Um, some of these other services include Find That Email. Um, 
and uh, Snove.io definitely recommend uh, for us. It's uh, using a combination of all of these tools to find the best contact information for them. And um, yeah, again, uh, the fourth way to find blockchain and crypto investors is LinkedIn. So you can vary this term between blockchain um, investor, crypto investor. Um, you also want to type in, you know, STO investor or ICO investor. There's also NFT investor, and you can see the number of, um, you know, search results that come up. And these are all potential investors, um, you know, that could work in terms of cold outreach and really connecting with them. Again, that's going to be in another video that um, training tutorial that we're going to share on how we have successfully found the investor and connected them with some of our clients uh, here at CrowdCreates. Okay, so um, the fifth way we recommend to find blockchain and crypto investors is just Google itself, right? So if you type in crypto, um, sorry, crypto um, investors, um, everything from, you know, Coindesk to some of the top, um, you know, PR publications that are out there, let's, uh, we really like to stay, um, you know, updated on everything that's being mentioned in the news. So Mike Novogratz, for example, uh, we type in crypto investors, go to news, and this is the most updated and relevant um, information that's out there. So Mike Novogratz, you know, Kevin O'Leary, um, these are much bigger names. If you have a bigger project, um, it does seem fit to reach out to them and, and they have different criteria in terms of what it is that they're interested in. And I'm going to go ahead and show you an example here how we also like to classify these funds by what they have, you know, assets um, under management and um, also, you know, really understanding um, different, let me go ahead and pull it up. So again, here's another format of a spreadsheet that we've used in the past uh, just where we classify and uh, categorize them by what they have invested before. And so you could see here um, whether they are a hedge fund or their you know, personal private investment, we will take notes of you know, different investments that they've done in the past. You know, a good example would be Ethereum or Ripple, uh, Ripple being part of, uh, you know, Draper University's, um, you know, incubator. There's um, many incubators and accelerators across uh, the world that you can tap into, but it's really about understanding what it is that they are interested in, what they have invested in, in uh, the past. And if you know that's a likely good fit for your existing uh, project. So again, you know, um, Google is definitely the best way to do it. You know, a lot of the search terms that we use would just be very basic, you know, crypto uh, investors, um, you know, whether it's DeFi investors or DeFi projects that are coming up. Um, this does take a bit more time because again, you are going through what hundreds of articles to be able to find and, and scan through um, who is investing, um, who raised capital and who was a part of the, of the deal. You know, uh, um, a lot of this is also organized very neatly um, at some of the major platforms that are out there being uh, Crunchbase, uh, AngelList, and, um, you know, everything in between. So, all right. And the fifth and last way that we recommend to find um, blockchain and crypto investors is YouTube. So um, these are called influencers uh, and, and really is the fastest way if you're a smaller project to get uh, exposure to what it is um, you're doing. So you could see here, Charlie Chang, you have Altcoin Daily, you have Crypto Busy, you have Crypto Fiend, right? They, they are talking about investing in cryptocurrencies. If you are traded and if you are on an exchange and it's easily accessible, these are great ways to get exposure so that investors come to you. And also, um, you know, these people are investors themselves. And so how do you reach out to them? Well, actually, we're going to show you, um, you know, the spreadsheet I previously shared uh, on how we've reached out to these um, influencers in the past. Um, really, we classify them by name, you know, their status, whether they're a partner, we've contacted them, you know, how many subscribers they have. Again, this is uh, in the hundreds um, that we've done um, and, and really keep them in our database of um, first name, last name, their email address, 
you know, when was the last time we contacted them? You know, what about them that they're specifically interested in and at what stage of, um, you know, investments they, they really like to uh, be a part of, whether it's micro cap, whether it's trading some of the larger ones, you know, Lark Davis, Eddie Moon, these are all highly influential um, influencers to get exposure to your project. And um, again, there's, uh, you know, DeFi investing, you want to use all these search operators, NFT investing. Um, these are all great people to get connected with that um, are investors themselves. And also, you know, hopefully you can get featured on these, um, uh, you know, different uh, YouTube channels. Um, that's something that we do here at CrowdCreate. Again, you know, we're going to teach you how to reach out to them. Uh, first, you want to find their contact information. Um, let's go ahead and go to Altcoin Daily. You know, it's very basic in terms of going to their about page. And a lot of times they have their email address listed. And one by one, you're going to find out their name, you know, their last name. Uh, you're going to find out their email address. You're going to take that. You're going to go ahead and put it into your spreadsheet. You want to reach out to them, uh, you know, basically introduce your project or how you can work together whether it's going to be a sponsorship or whether it's going to be just generally, you know, value adding and, and engaging with their community, posting comments and talking to them. So really there are, you know, thousands of, uh, you know, crypto, DeFi, blockchain, NFT investors on uh, YouTube. So as a whole, um, that is uh, kind of the top five uh, or six places where um, we recommend to find uh, investors. Again, uh, you know, the first one is going to be conferences, right? Blockchain conferences uh, and crypto conferences are really the best way that we recommend to find these investors. It's the most intimate as well. And, and uh, you know, if you can do it in person, it's better to uh, meet with them, right, in person. Again, I'm going to show you uh, how we've done it at CrowdCreate. We've traveled the world um, really meeting with these investors in person, face-to-face, uh, -face, you know, understanding what it is that they currently do. Uh, we always like to take pictures, you know, Larry Sanger, co-founder of Wikipedia, Tim Draper. Um, this is us really, you know, Joe Lubin. And these are uh, phenomenal people just, uh, you know, to build relationships with, to get connected with. And conferences is, you know, by far, um, you know, the best way to find investors for your project. You know, number two uh, is what we said is to ask other startup companies who uh, invested in their company. And so, again, we like to, you know, categorize it here. If you have, you know, Tim Draper, for example, you want to know what he previously invested in uh, and, and get connected with some of these companies and provide value so that they do share it. Uh, the third way is existing databases, right? You can do that through Google. There's, there's, uh, a uh, number of uh, existing databases who have already tried to find blockchain and crypto uh, investors. Again, we want to be very careful because, um, you know, these investors, uh, it's it's more important on quality rather than it is quantity. Take your time to understand what it is that they're interested in. Um, the fourth way to find investors uh, is really LinkedIn. Again, you want to type in uh, site LinkedIn, say in, and then go ahead and type in crypto investor and you're gonna be able to find different investors on LinkedIn and whatnot. And um, yeah, fifth way is just Google itself, you know, going through the news, going through different channels and um, understanding what's going on in the world of crypto investing. And the sixth way to find um, investors is uh, YouTube. So a lot of these uh, investors themselves have channels. They're very vocal. You can see in the comments, people that are investing, you know, getting active in blockchain and whatnot. And, uh, you know, lastly, we are CrowdCreate. So um, we've been in the blockchain and crypto space for the last couple of years. Uh, we helped uh, one of Asia's fastest selling token raise, um, raise over 18 million in three hours by using this exact method of getting connected to investors and influencers and thought leaders in the space. Uh, highly recommend our, our service as, as the fastest way to find and, and get connected. Um, please visit our website. You can go ahead and uh, look around our case studies, schedule a call with us, and also you can get access to our spreadsheets um, for some of these blockchain investors. Uh, we'll put a link below 
and um, looking forward to the next video and sharing how we connect to these investors after you found them and identified them. So thanks everyone. Be sure to like and subscribe to CrowdCrate where we share a lot of these uh, thought leadership ideas on how some of the best companies are you know, getting out there, uh, finding the right people to really strategically grow their own business.